Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are talking about Micro Studio. Now if you are a subscriber, you've probably heard of this one. I've looked at it, I think, twice in the past. Once when I first discovered it and then once when it went open source. Yes, this is an open source project, by the way. And what it is, is a free game engine online. And the online part is the critical reason why we are talking about it today, because now it is also offline. You can now run Micro Studio on Linux, Windows, and Mac as a native application. So if you do not like the idea of running in a browser or you're trying to work offline, well, there is now an app version of Micro Studio. And I know for some of you, there is now much rejoicing because you hate browser-based software. Me, I'm kind of indifferent to it, but I do like to have the app application available. Now, if you've never heard of Micro Studio before, we're going to go hands-on in just a second, but let's do an overview from the website. You want to check it out. I will have all the links down below, but it's available at microstudio.dev. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, this is an open source project, so the source code is available. Uh, you can run it online, but now you can also run it in an application form. Uh, it has everything you need. It's got a code editor. Uh, you can create your sprites and maps directly inside of it. Uh, it's got multiple different programming options. They have Microscript. They just released Microscript version 2. Microscript is kind of like a simpler version of Lua. Uh, also on that top, you can also program in JavaScript or Python or Lua if you prefer. So you got a lot of different options in that regard. Uh, you do have tools built in, including a sprite and animation editor. We'll see those in just a second. You can also work in a team. You can test things on the fly. Um, so any changes you make on your PC will be updated on mobile. And if you work with a team, it will automatically synchronize between people. So multiple people can work on the same project at the same time. And you can use a uh, gamepad, touchscreen, keyboard, and mouse inputs. And with a single click, you can now export to HTML5, but also Windows, Linux, and Mac OS with more options coming soon. There is also a very uh, nice and vibrant uh, community available. And what you will find, you come over here and you click explore, you're going to find a ton of games that were created using Micro Studio. And the nice thing is for any one of these, for example, uh, this project, which I already actually have downloaded, you can click on it and then you can just export it out, bring it down as a zip file, at which point you can now uh, work with it that way. I also want to point this out. We'll see this in a second. Uh, it's something I'm going to talk about later, but notice this screenshot here. So anyways, you can grab all of these various different demos, grab the examples and have a good code base to work from. And now here we are in the app version of Micro Studio. I've got a couple different options here. I'm going to show this uh, project first. Uh, this one actually uses the map and sprite editor. Uh, so it, you get an idea of what's going on here. This is using Microscript. Again, you can have multiple different programming languages. I don't think you can mix and match in a project, but when you create a project, you have multiple different language options. I'll show you the creation process in a bit. Um, but you also down here, you'll see you've got sprite tools like so. You've even got the ability to do animations per frame. Uh, animations available down here so you can you actually see a preview of the animation going on over there um, you could do here you can see they've basically created a tile map and what's cool with that so you got all your your general tools that you need for drawing things it's got a nice UI to be honest very nice and polished uh, we also have again the map building section so you can see the various different levels created using this tiled map editor you can basically drag and paint your tiles into the world uh, Pretty simple uh, to work with. Uh, sound is pretty minimal. You can just import wave files, diddle for music. You can import MP3 files. So you can see an example of one right here. Oops, did not mean to play that. Maybe if I go to a different tab. Stop, go away. All right, so there you can see the uh, the various different music options are a bit on the minimal side. As you can see from the description here, uh, they are going to be doing a sleek sound creation app at the future. So you're going to be able to do your music production directly inside of Micro Studio as well. Right now, you're going to need an external tool, something like BFXR or um, you know some kind of a music creation tool to work with this. Uh, and then when you are done with your game, you can go ahead and publish it out. Click single click export. You can have it go directly to certain game services if you wish. Uh, I'm not sure how you do your... Um, you know, platform specific export here, uh, but there the options are available. In terms of the code editor, uh, it's pretty pretty nice on the whole. When you wanna check your project out, you go ahead and run it over here. I'm gonna go back to the project list and I'm gonna show you this Marble Quest example instead running. So it gives you an idea. So here is the code. Now, one thing that I dislike, and I don't know if this is a bug, there's no way to uh, resize over here. So I, um, I don't know. If remember, I told you to keep an eye on that screenshot. So when we looked at it over here, this screenshot shows that user interface showing names like this, 
Whereas in the app, we have the, in the, so you have to mouse over to figure out what the actual uh, code file is. I got a feeling that that one is a bug, uh, but I, I'm not 100% certain uh, what the case is there. Another cool thing about the code editor, and this is very useful to a beginner, you notice I'm going over this mouse uh, thing. Well, it automatically brings up the appropriate documentation and we can open that documentation up like so. So now what I need to do is find main, and this is very irritating because again, the this again, this has to be a bug because there's no way this is intended. But here is the code for running a very complex game, to be honest. This was entirely developed using MicroScript. But now we can go ahead and see it running. So let's go ahead and run that out. So here you can see an example. Let me turn that volume down. So let's play our game. So you see, as you move through the world, by the way, we can resize that to get a bigger version. But it gives you an idea of the capabilities of uh, a MicroScript game. There's, there's some th uh, 3D or faux 3D games out there, but you can create some pretty complex games using this engine. It, it's pretty impressive in that regard. One of the other things that they added with the newest version, which is actually kind of neat, there is a rewind feature. So if you run into a bug, you can actually now rewind back the game to the state where the bug occurred, help you hopefully track down where your bugs are. A uh, neat new feature of the, the more recent release. So anyways, that is a little bit of a quick hands-on uh, with Micro Studio. Again, the nice thing here is you can go ahead and get these projects pretty simple to start with. So these two came from uh, that Explore tab I was showing you earlier on. We can also go ahead and create a new project. So my new project. Uh, you have advanced options down here, and the advanced options actually get a little bit on the confusing side. So you got down here, um, you can create a library, a tutorial, or in this case, an app, uh, and then here you've got your choice of programming languages. So we've moved on to MicroScript 2, which is part of this update. You can also still develop in the old version if you wish. Uh, you can also do Python, Lua, or JavaScript language. So if you'd rather work in another language, they've got you covered there. And then here's where it gets kind of interesting. You've got options for uh, the graphics library. Uh, so there's experimental uh, built on top of Pixie.js and Babylon.js uh, versions, and then a 2D and a 3D versions as well. I'm not sure what these various different options are, but you have a lot of options. You can also integrate in uh, uh, one of two different physics systems, depending on if you're working 2D or 3D. Um, so it's it's a pretty um, pretty robust project on the whole. You've got a lot of options available there. And the nice thing here is it is now also available in that application form. So uh, that is kind of the gist of it. It is available up on itch.io. All of these downloads are available. Um, so you can grab it. Uh, Windows, Raspberry Pi, Mac OS, and Linux versions. Just go ahead and download them there as a standalone application. Of course, you can still open this up directly in your browser if you wish to do so. So no downloads are required, but if you're a person that prefers to work offline or a combination of offline, online, you're gonna wanna do this. You can also actually host it yourself uh, in a local server so that your files, so basically you're working in a browser, but a local version or your own local web server. So your files stay entirely in your end. That is an option as well. Um, if you're interested in terms of the documentation, it is quite good. Uh, it is also now hosted on GitHub, I think now, or GitLab, uh, but the documentation uh, is solid, kind of walks you through, go through the quick start. It'll go through all of the various different bits you need to know to make a project. Uh, if you want to get into the MicroScript programming language, there is a breakdown of how it works. It's a very simple language. Again, it is based on Lua. Uh, you shouldn't have much of a challenge learning it. And it's gotten most of the, the features and functionality you would expect from a, a game perspective. And the entire API, you know, for handling things like keyboard, touch, graphics, sound, and so on, are all available and fully documented here. Now, once again, when you are inside of the editor, you can click on a keyword and it will link you to the appropriate documentation as well. So if trying to figure out, again, the best way to probably learn Micro Studio is to take one of those examples from the Explore tab, and then you can drill down into it and figure out from the documentation from their examples, uh, which is very nice. And again, you do have the multiple different programming language options. And then you've got a couple of, like, if you want to get into advanced or you want to extend your exported game out, um, you've got those options available as well. So you have more details with how your exporting works, how to work with um, various different platforms and so on, all available here in the documentation. And then you've also got some uh, reference materials on some of the optional stuff that was integrated. So if you want to drill down and what all those various different pieces are and how to work with them, that is documented here as well. Uh, as I mentioned off the hop, this is an open source project. It is under the MIT license, which is a very liberal license. As you can see, this release just came yesterday. Um, it, it's a very cool project. I've liked it from the very beginning. 
Again, now you can run it as a standalone application, which is quite nice. But again, you can also set up your own server and run it that way as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Micro Studio, a very interesting game engine for either just play around, game jams to learn with, or to make, well, you saw that that game demo we saw earlier on. It actually wasn't like a trivial game by any means. You can make some pretty uh, neat games using this game engine. It's just very approachable in the way that it works. And the cool thing here is you do have that multiple language support. So uh, you don't need to use their proprietary language. You can use JavaScript. You can use Python. You can use Lua. Or, of course, you can take the, the approach of using their microscript, and hopefully it's a little bit easier for you. So that is Micro Studio. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.